Tao Chen, Director of uh, China Culture Center in Tel Aviv. Thank you for taking the time to meet us today. There are a number of uh, sports that originated in China that have become very popular in Israel. Uh, wushu, for example. Um, how do you think those sports, or Wushu specifically, have become this popular here in Israel? I know that Wushu is um, uh, very popular around the world. And there are some like um, uh, very world famous Kung Fu star like Jackie Chan, like Bruce Lee, and like uh, Jet Li. And I'm also very happy to see that Wushu is becoming popular also in Israel. Uh, in recent years, every year we uh, cooperate with uh, Israel Wushu Federation to hold the Ambassador Cup uh, Wushu competition every year. And um, uh, I don't know if you know that in 2019 there was uh, there is an um, Israeli Wushu champion. Her name is uh, Anastasia. She won the first prize in the World uh, Wushu Championship in 2019 in Shanghai. Wushu can not only strengthen the body and defend enemy attack, it's actually it's the exercise of one's body and mind. And its spiritual values, I think, attracts more and more people to learn uh, Wushu. It's an important part of Chinese traditional culture. Uh, it has been influenced by many religious and uh, philosophical thoughts. For example, uh, Taoism gives Wushu the balance of man and nature, and uh, uh, Buddhism brings the uh, breathing and uh, meditation techniques to cultivate uh, the Wushu uh, spiritual power. And also the Confucianism, with its focus on the integrity and ethics, further develop Wushu into a way of life. So that uh, I think to learn um, Chinese wushu is not simply to learn the skill, but the, uh, the cultural background and the Chinese traditional uh, philosophical thoughts is very important. Do you know of any other sports that originated in China that have become popular here? One of the most popular sports in, in Israel. And uh, there are ones and Israeli athletes play in a Chinese uh, club mm -hmm. and many Chinese fans uh, actually like, uh, like these athletes very well. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys, you, you already know what it's... You it's, talk about it on yes, the hobby. It's Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. It's football. Mm -hmm. Football it, uh, was originated in China. Really? Yes, yes, sure. Uh, it was called Tzu Ju in ancient China and more than 2,300 years ago it appears in ancient China. And during that time, it's used for like soldiers to train, to train soldiers, it, and also to train the, uh, uh, their physics, train the bodies. And then it spread from China to Europe via Arabs. Other than wushu and football, as we found out uh, today, uh, do you think there are any other sports in China or that originated in China that will become popular in Israel someday? You know skiing, there's the saying also, skiing originated in Xinjiang, in China. Well, all sports came from China, that's what we're finding <laughs> out here today. Some of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is about like 10,000 years ago. We have a, like a, a, a rock painting. A rock painting, there's a, a, a people find, people find some rock painting in Xinjiang and depicts people skiing and hunting. So it says the uh, uh, skiing also originated in, in, in China. There are six Chinese, uh, uh, Israeli athletes that take part in this Winter Olympic Games. And there's one uh, Israeli athlete, he won the six uh, in the European game. Yes, and it's the best record ever have in, uh, about Israel to have that in the Winter Olympic Games. So maybe in the future, in the new future, skiing and uh, like this ice sport will be also become popular in Israel. If you talk about uh, Wushu again, uh, an official Wushu uh, championship is taking place right now in Birmingham, Alabama in the World Games 2022. When do you think we will see an official Wushu championship here in Israel? As we speak about the Wushu competition, of uh, course we have uh, frequent cooperation with Israel Wushu Federation. 
I believe they are experienced in this field. Maybe they can like um, uh, discuss with there is a world um, Wushu Federation. Uh, so the Israel Wushu Federation can discuss, consult with the World Wushu Federation. I'm looking, actually, I'm looking forward to seeing this kind of Wushu championship held in Israel. China invests in various industries. In uh, Israel, for example, the acquisition of Israeli companies. Uh, do you think we will see investors from China entering the field of sports as well? Maybe uh, a Chinese acquisition of an Israeli football team? There are some like Chinese investments in overseas football clubs. Mm -hmm. Uh, but this is, uh, uh, I should say, this is an uh, economic phenomena, phenomenon. And uh, they are thinking more about like the commercial returns uh, for, of investing the top teams around the world. Uh, actually, of course, you know, I'm the director of the culture center. I'm not very familiar with that field, but from what I know, uh, there are some like Chinese investment in the European uh, football teams, yes, but they are mainly look forward to the commercial uh, uh, benefits. Tao Chen, director of China Culture Center in Tel Aviv, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this interview.